Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis. And do you smell that, my friends? Do you smell that? That is the smell of profits in the morning. We're gonna be picking up right where I left off yesterday's video, where we were talking about the swing failure pattern trading setup that we had here and how that has came to fruition. We saw the swing failure pattern, okay, here around $24,000. We've seen the pullback. And if you took that SFP swing failure pattern, you right now are sat in profits. So well done, but let's not get too carried away because every day there's a new trading setup to cover. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna to be zooming into the charts, giving you my opinion on that short trade, which of course was a very nice short trade indeed. Well, fairly simple swing failure pattern, but I'm gonna be explaining why I personally, I'm still looking for higher prices to come. Yes, that was a good short trade. It's a profitable trade, whatever happens next, but I personally would like to see further upside here. And I'll be explaining that in the course of this video, exactly what I am looking for. So uh, yeah, nice, lovely way to start off the video there. And um, I actually wanna start off this in a slightly different way. And it's by first, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you ever so much for all the support that you've all shown over on Twitter of, and obviously making it aware of you of yesterday in the video, but. I now am going to stop with the clickbait YouTube thumbnails and titles. Of course, you know, I'm going to have to take the fact that we will take a loss in views and we will lose the favor of the YouTube algorithm uh, by not using this clickbait. But in order to provide a real champion focused learning and educational environment style for you, where you're going to be able to understand my clearer trades and understand the bias of myself a lot more easy, there's not gonna be any confusion. I'm more than happy to take the hit and the loss in viewers uh, that we're gonna get for, you know, transferring into a, a stronger and more easy to understand style video, right? So um, yeah, that's just part of the game. <laughs> you know, clickbait does work, <laughs> uh, but you know, I've decided to move away from that. It won't be used anymore. And uh, I don't know, it is very good to see that overall, uh, you know, people are, are happy with this decision that I have made and we will be sticking to. So. Uh, yeah, congratulations to whether you're a new champion with one week into your subscription or whether you've been here for several years. Uh, that's something that you can now, um, you know, see for going forwards with removed a clickbait. And I will just touch upon this briefly that of course, you know, that does mean we're gonna get less viewers, which I doubt you really care about so much. But for us, we understand that Chart Champions really is the best educational space, right? And so the more people that we reach, the more people that we can help. So if you are feeling kind, if you feel that little love coming from your heart right now, you can transfer that down to the like button to below. And you know, by giving a like to the video, by sharing it on Twitter or different social media channels, or to even to your friends and family directly with the link, right? You know, every share and like really does help out now. So um, yeah, let's uh, <laughs> try and do that together. If you're enjoying the content or save it till the end, if you have enjoyed, then just remember to give a quick like and a share. And you know, that's your way of saying thank you to us. And I would honestly really appreciate it. So uh, yeah, goodbye to the clickbait. Uh, now let's get into what you're here for. And that is of course the analysis. So uh, this is what we were mentioning in yesterday's video, right? The bigger levels are still above us of the weekly and N NPOC down here, right? These are our bigger levels, but we were aware of a swing failure pattern, okay? Which would give us an acceptable short trade if we come up, taking that previous high and come back down below, referring to, of course, this high here, right? And when we come down, we can really see how price come above that level, come back down below. That gives an active, uh, actionable, you know, entry trigger for a short trade based off of that swing failure pattern. It's like we we're saying, if we just blast straight through the level, well, there's no trade. If we get a swing failure pattern, well, there's a trade. And, um, you know, for me, that, that was, of course, uh, a good short trade. We have now seen a come down and you would be sat in profits if you had, you know, <laughs> taken the entry within one hour of that happening, you, you were definitely sat in profits right now. And uh, so for me, you know, this is just so you can see what I was looking at this morning after that swing failure pattern. Okay, I'm giving my team the take profit, $23,678. Okay, so $23,678 is the take profit one for this swing failure pattern trade. So I'm basically looking for it to come down here. Okay, take out these series of lows, which of course now that's, you know, we're talking about a few hours later. <laughs> so we had to remain patient for lower, but it has just came just before I've started that video, just locked in that nice take profit one. So 
From here, we can, of course, uh, wait to see whether we do get a nice reaction and a bit of an increase or, or whether we do just continue down. I think really we'll be able to see the real outcome of this in an, in an hour as the stock market opens. Currently, we're uh, 20 past one UK time and half past two UK time. The stock market will open for trading. So that, that's generally where we're going to be looking for our next bigger, bigger move. Uh, but the, the beauty of, you know, having the confidence in these taking these trading setups is that, you know, you can lock in that take profit one and be guaranteed profit. You know, if you took a short off the swing failure pattern, right, and we've moved down, you've hit take profit one. If price reverses from here and you get stopped out of that short, you've still made profits. You've still made money because you've locked in that take profit. And, uh, you know, this is a trading setup that I've been, you know, this was my daily update from the 28th, okay? And, you know, this was our focus, right? Come above here, look for a swing failure pattern, take the short trade. Of course, a much lower target. But as mentioned earlier, I'm actually leaning more bullish here. So I'll have to wait and see if that bias plays out. But I would like to see a, another increase in price, which, of course, will mean that short getting stopped out. But I personally would like to see that. I'd like to see higher prices here. And I want to explain to you why. OK, um, but yeah, that bit of an introduction, hopefully you've all understood that. OK, yesterday we were talking about the swing failure pattern just above 24K of this high. We got the swing failure pattern. That's an actionable entry trigger on a short trade. Take profit one. OK, for me, given to the group, uh, 23,678. And then that happened a few hours later, about 1, 1 p.m. right, as we've just hit that about, you know, three hours later, we've, we've come and hit that target now, finally. So uh, then what you do is you lock in, take profit one, you take a percentage of profit. For me, this is a high percentage of profit because this, for me, you know, overall, I am looking for higher. So uh, lock in a high percentage and um, we'll look for either the pullback to continue here. Uh, we'll be looking at the VWAP or alternatively, that is, you know, looking for the low here and, and we'll look for, for our next push to the upside. Uh, where I'd like to now explain those levels that I would be looking for uh, if we if we do in fact get this push to the upside that I'm I'm looking for. Okay, um, before I do that, I just want to just do a really quick shout out, by the way, and that is to just well, well mainly remind you and also just give a shout out to you know hard work was respected by myself, and that is to the new coaches rivalry. Okay, coming in here, taking trades, making profit, right? Also, you can see, <laughs> you know, updates from 3 a.m. in the morning up until, you know, doing video updates for you all. You can just, I'll give you a quick glimpse of the, of the goat. <laughs> By what you, like, forget the delta. Okay? That is the last this, thing on your list. Is, is a, How are the rotations? update from Rivalry. Uh, but, you know, get, quick shout out to Rivalry. Shout out also to Severin, who is the other coach new coach at Chart Champions, you know, they're coming in here, putting in hard work. And what I like is their contrast in styles. I will keep my eye on this, by the way, if anything is urgent that I'll, I'll make you aware of it. But I like their contrast in styles. Rivalry, obviously, over from, from America, uh, you know, this kind of really good character, good energy. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I really think he's going to be uh, very charismatic and, and have a lot of people liking him for that, but obviously principally for his trading. And then Severin is like the dark horse, I like to say. It's like, like quiet, just lets his trades and results do the speaking for him. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that, that, that stark contrasted. I, I love them both. And obviously the main reason why they're here is because they are just legit, profitable, good traders. And that's what we want at Chart Champions, right? We wanted to get in people that could trade, make money trading and, uh, you know, then show you all the ropes. So yeah, shout out to Riot, Rivalry, shout out to Chevron. Of course, uh, <laughs> Eagle, <laughs> nothing we need to say about him, obviously coming in here with his daily updates, uh, just leading the way as he's always always has. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to give a quick shout out and reminder of the new coaches, of the daily trading updates. Monday, you got Eagle, myself, Tuesday, Wednesday, Eagle, Thursday, myself, Friday, Eagle. So live stream updates every single day where we go through the charts, look for our next trading setups and just give you the key information in a quick roundabout way. Um, so you can just get into the price action and start to trade it. 20 minute update, you know, giving you all the information that you need to know, getting you ready for that day. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, the last thing that I'll mention, I know I'm mentioning a lot here, but I do want to mention this. Uh, on top of that, of course, the read-only coaches-only channels, you do get access to the questions channel as well, where myself and the other coaches, every question that you have about our charts, we come in, we answer your questions you know, you can see here coming in, answering every single question, really, really, really in-depth answers. You can see it really nice. Uh, but yeah, getting your question answered by the coaches. Obviously, of course, I'm doing this as well. And uh, yeah, just to make you aware that this is also a, a perk of the group, right? You got the not only the um, 
trading channel of read-only coaches. You've also got the access to the questions to ask them any question you want and uh, you'll get the answer to that, right? Um, so yeah, with all that mentioned, I now want to move on to what I'm looking at next. And for me, um, of course, that swing failure pattern, as I've already emphasized quite a lot, is a valid trading setup. It gave a valid entry trigger. And, you know, if you're ready and waiting for that, which I, I, I did hopefully prepare you for well enough yesterday, uh, you've get that valid entry trigger. You've got to take the trade. OK, <clears throat> in my opinion, I'm looking in a high, high percentage of profit here uh, because of the fact I am looking for higher prices. Well, there's a few things that I'm going to be looking for next. Number one could be this three peaks where we've seen peak one, peak two, and we actually form a peak three here, just slightly above this high for almost like a swing failure pattern of the swing failure pattern, where we come up here one more time for down. So that is something that I'm aware of where we'll put in this three peaks and we won't make it up to the weekly. Of course, as always, what I do, set the alert, check the reaction, right? Set the alert, check the reaction. Actually, my latest update in the group was showing them that the alert was going off as soon as we had it, right? <clears throat> so I like to do that, set the alert, check the reaction. So Alert can be set just above this high. Uh, for instance, on Coinbase, we didn't hit 24K, right? So you set your alert Coinbase, 24K, <laughs> hint, hint, and, and see what happens next. Do we get a nice another SFB or do we simply just blast through the level? That's the beauty of trading the reaction. Okay, if we get an SFB, we can look for a better short trade. Or if we don't and we simply go through the level, where we, that's where we can be looking up for the next weekly zone to the upside. And as emphasized, these are, for me, zones. So we don't look at this as an exact dollar, but we've got a little bit of a boundary either side of it, right? Where that's where we'd actually be looking for our next target. And the same again, set the alert, check the reaction. For this, though, you are going to be wanting to use a lower term time frame entry trigger. So, you know, this is obviously a higher term time frame level. So here, what I like to do is once the alert's gone off, come down, look for a lower term time frame entry. With that, I recommend, of course, using order flow. Uh, just so you're aware, by the way, that these are the new templates, you know, spent 60 odd hours working on these over the past few weeks. Though These are the new templates from myself. They will be released this week to the Champions Group, along with, by the way, Elliott Wave modules. Yes, they're coming <laughs> and they start next week as well. So you got the new templates and brand new Elliott Wave modules produced by myself for you as well. So, yeah, what a week for Chart Champions, by the way. Um, and so, yeah, for me, it's now remaining, you know, a bit, a bit patient here on the Bitcoin chart. So hopefully I'm going to hope you took that short trade. And uh, from here, it would require a bit of patience. See the move down. See if we can come into the VWAP, right? And then from there, make an informed decision. Do we get a nice bounce off of that VWAP? And then if so, well, actually, we can be looking back upwards for at least, as mentioned before, just taking out this high above 24K on Coinbase. Or if we blast through it, then the weekly. Or... You know, if we do get the reverse scenario and we get a heavier pullback, well, that's where you could try and keep this like running. I personally would move to stop loss now to entry. Uh, there's no need to list to be a losing trade. Take profit one, stop loss to entry. Uh, if it does continue down, well, then you can look for your lower levels. For me, though, as mentioned, I am looking for higher. I would like higher to come. This is, of course, based on one key factor, and that is that we hold and maintain our key higher term time frame support level. And while that is held, I'm going to be looking for higher. Of course, that does mean we can get a more local pullback here. We can get a local pullback and that's not going to affect my bias of actually wanting higher to come. But if we that local pullback turns into a trend reversal and we actually break our key support level, well, then that's where I'll have to accept, OK, I'm not going to get my bias play out and we won't be getting higher here. So as always, I prefer, you know, approach this in a very professional and thought through manner. Everything that I do is like planned, ready, waiting, executing and understanding that we're in a realm of probabilities. Right. So I like to do that. I like to take my time. I really like to spend, you know, a, just focusing on the charts and trading what the charts are giving me. I have my own biases, but at the end of the day, I will trade, trade the charts. And yeah, we've obviously been granted a lovely swing failure pattern. Okay, if you struggle with this, then daily updates every single day in chartchampions.com. <laughs> we go through the charts, we give you the best level, and we give you the best trades. So if you took that short trade, then well, congratulations, you're profitable right now. But personally, I am looking for another push to the upside. Mentioning we can get a larger pullback first, but as long as we don't break key support, I am going to be looking for higher. Thus, my bias, bias here is accepting we can get a pullback, but overall, I would like higher prices to come.
Okay, that's referring to more of the local term time frame for me. Okay, um, and then we'll keep it going level to level. If we break through this weekly, then we can be looking back up to, you know, around twenty-five thousand dollars of this NPC and daily. If we break through that, well, we'll simply be looking for new highs to come. But for now, level to level, see what we get here over the next hour as we go into the stock market open. See if we get that view upheld. If it doesn't, well, then, yeah, we are probably going to be in for a larger pullback, and it is what it is, right? Um, but while we maintain key support, I would prefer a, another rise to come here. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, I'll remind you, hit that like button, show your love to the community. I will give you my best work. Of course, though, I think it's all fair to say that my best, always my best, and most <laughs> dedication is going to go into the group inside of the mentorship, inside of Chart Champions, where you've got the whole platform, right? It's not just a group, it is a platform. You've got journal, inbuilt journal on the website. You've got the vault where you're going to have access to the brand new templates. You've got the cheat sheets. You know, of course, you've got the speed run. You've, of course, got the courses where you've got all of the courses that you're ever going to need here to learn about trading. Elliot Wave's coming and, uh, you know, daily live stream updates, coaches only, read only channels, access to questions throughout the day, getting answers throughout the day for any questions you have about our charts. So you got you got everything you're going to need here to succeed. And that's why I, you know, preferably would like to reach as many people as possible because I just know and I'm very proud of the fact we have a brilliant platform here that is changing people's lives. So yeah, if you want to help spread the word, hit the like, hit the share, share it on social medias. And uh, you can look forward to, you know, on the public side of things, a more professional take here too, right? The back end on the website, we've gone full focus, full professional, just really wanting to give you the best product and service in the world. Like that is our goal. We've made a lot of changes to make that become a reality. Um, and now, you know, let's try and transfer this also onto the public side. So, um, you know, removing the clickbait, keeping it focused. We are going to lose viewers. It's just a fact because clickbait works. But, you know, for the greater good, Hopefully now you'll see clearer understanding and perspectives and, and trading biases. So yeah, re reinforcing one final time here. Looking for a local pullback. I've personally locked in a take profit one, but we can definitely pull back more here. Uh, but overall, as long as we maintain that important support, I'd like to see that pull back cold, form at a higher low and, and can increase again in price. If I'm wrong, I can hold my hands up and say I was wrong on that. But uh, for now, we'll see how it goes. I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. If you know, hit that like button, hit the love, share the love, and let's go. CC Paul, I truly do love you all. I really hope I'm helping you out. And if you want to see more from us, chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much. And just have a wonderful, wonderful day ahead. Catch you over in the mentorship. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye. Cheers.